Hello, my name is Jeff Rudd. I am the founder of United People, found at www.unitedpeople.ie and an admin of Fight the Water Tax Scam Lawfully on Facebook. In a moment I'm going to speak about Irish water and how it plays a small part in a bigger picture of an ongoing scheme. But for the moment I'm going to read from a newspaper article that was printed on Sunday the 12th of October 2014 in the independent newspaper and it starts. Why is the water tax different? There are practical reasons and there are political reasons. The practical reasons include having to physically install a meter. They also must induce us to sign a contract. Above all, Joan and Enda can't use revenue or social welfare to take the tax out of our wages or dole. For other austerity taxes, revenue has been an austerity tax debt collector, implementing politically dodgy policies. That option isn't available this time. They must persuade us to sign up. The political reasons for the reaction are deeply felt. There's blatant deception involved. End quote. As many are aware, there is a current battle of wits and finance going on in Ireland. The latest issue to get many of Ireland's citizens irritated is over their water natural resource and how they have gathered that they are being exploited over it. While this serious dispute rumbles on, in fact gaining serious momentum, one aspect that has been entirely overlooked by most is that it's really only one more step in a ladder of previous others that has taken place. The battle for the public just retained their control rights over how and where the rewarded constitution of a resource, water, is to be won, is a major battle in itself. One that will be hard to win but one considered dearly worth winning and the people are determined. The latest battle however is just one more jigsaw piece of a larger battle. One that has been quietly continued for some time now in Ireland and one where most of the players have not been allowed to even see a fuller picture. Let's be clear, it's not the public's fault in any way. The current Irish government of Fine Gael, generally judged to be caring for the wealthy or forced, and Labour, generally judged to have completely sold out their working class base, is keeping the country's people distracted with just trying to survive in an economy that is repeatedly hit by new taxes and charges upon the public forcing them to again and again dip into their savings, pockets, wallets and handbags in order to pay another new invented charge or bill. They are that distracted by trying to survive a form of economic slavery that many have little time for pursuing and holding to account others' antics, their lies, U-turns and double standards which their elected representatives are constantly deemed to be up to. When they are not being distracted by such things or engulfed in such bad behaviour from those that are supposed to be working for them, not against them, the public are being kept in the dark as to their greater rights, information and denied information about national and even local protesting which is going all around the country all year. The government in fact appears to desire that every citizen feels isolated and that anyone that does protest against them must be just a troublemaker and nothing more. The real truth is far from the false reality that the Fine Gael and Labour coalition is painting and tainting. The larger picture. For some time now there has been an agenda from the EU to see that Ireland's people slowly and quietly lose more and more of their natural resources. The financial antics of international corporate businesses have seen that vast quantities of Ireland's gas and oil have been ripped from the revenue service, thus the people of Ireland. The very own Irish government figures has put the value of their reserves at 420 billion euro. But this is a very conservative estimate by anyone's account. The economy and people of Ireland will see little of that vast financial amount unless there is dramatic change in the revenue collection procedures of the Irish government. Something not likely to happen under the political parties of Fine Gael, Labour and Fianna Fáil who each contributed and or maintain the current bad collection process that sees the Irish people still continue to be deprived of wealth that should be theirs by constitutional right. The losing of Ireland's many fishing rights is also another giveaway which a compliant Irish government also allowed. 
The Irish fishing industry has been badly hit due to another previous government giveaway to the EU. More gone of what shall be Ireland's by location, locality and by historic walking background. Besides the loss of oil, gas and fishing rights, along with revenue, the next tried giveaway stunt in regard to natural resources of Ireland was the country's forestry rights. By this stage, between the jigs and the reels of Ireland, a lot of people in the country seemed to have copped on to a growing trend and said enough was enough. They took to the streets in the nation's capital, they protested around our country and they harangued their political representatives, till eventually political pressure helped to stop a further exploitation. For the time being. Next up after that was the exploitation of the nation's basic water and its systems. When the government handed over the national water system lock, stock and barrel to a suddenly near created overnight company, one that has many questions still about it, and the public were told that without any tender process, Irish Water the company could go ahead for the next six years and charge away unhindered and keep the profits. For that reason and many others including the very fact that the people were and still are already paying for their water through taxation and VAT, the people of Ireland once again said enough was enough. The Irish people now have taken to the streets in serious numbers and through social media sites have organised themselves also. One large such group fight the water tax scam lawfully now alone has over 17,000 members in it. And that's just one group of over 120 created in Ireland. The government and its state station, RTE, along with a serious number of other media outlets owned by Dennis O'Brien, he just happens to own a large company putting in the water meters, are blanking out a lot of information and a lot of other data that the rest of the nation is not really been told what's going on around the country. Despite this, word is spreading. Concerns in many areas connected around the topic of the Irish nation's water are being raised and political pressure is seriously mounting once again. Once again, as Ireland's 2016 national elections loom, those that are for Irish Water the Company and those that support the recharging again of the people for the same thing over and over will, it seems, face an almighty electoral backlash. In the meanwhile, in craziness, the government which has continued upon its very people to financially rob them again and again, continues to now use the infamous carrot and stick method of operation. Thankfully, a more politically aware, more than ever before for some time it seems, population of Ireland have recognised that their untrustworthy antics are what they are, and are carrying on regardless, continuing on in peaceful protest against the national water scam being tried on. What the final outcome will be remains to be seen, but the nation's people, despite tried false tainting by a very questionable government and even more questionable media spin, appears in greater numbers to continue their overall peaceful struggle against unfairness and further exploitation. The population's jury is out in Ireland for deliberation on the Irish water scam, and the results have yet to come in. Here's hoping that for the people of Ireland, the end verdict will be a good one, and one in their favour, for them and whom for that they'd struggle for generations to come. My name is Jeff Rudd from unitedpeople.ie. Thank you for listening.